There are different types of fasts in the Bible that were carried out for a variety of different purposes and for differing lengths of time. But fasting in the simplest form is the discipline of abstaining from food for a given period of time in order to devote oneself more to prayer and the Word of God. For most believers, fasting is likely the most neglected of all spiritual practices, but this powerful discipline has the power to increase the effectiveness of your prayer life. When the disciples encountered a demon that they could not expel from a boy, Jesus told them that certain demonic beings could only be removed through a combination of both prayer and fasting. Matthew chapter 17 verses 19 through 21 say, Then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, Why could we not drive it out? And he said to them, Because of the littleness of your faith. For truly I say to you, if you have the faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible to you. But this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. For every natural act of faith, there is a divine reaction. Now, whatever it is that occurs in the realm of the Spirit when we fast and pray, it's safe to say that there is something to be said of acting in faith out of obedience to God's Word. Even if we don't know exactly how or why fasting intensifies the potency of our prayers, we know that it does. Like a sledgehammer chips away at a brick wall, so our prayers chip away at stubborn spiritual barriers. And fasting adds more strength to the strike. Furthermore, fasting helps us to weaken our greatest enemy, the flesh. Galatians chapter 5, verse 17 says, The sinful nature wants to do evil which is just the opposite of what the Spirit wants. And the Spirit gives us desires that are the opposite of what the sinful nature desires. These two forces are constantly fighting each other, so you are not free to carry out your good intentions. So whatever strengthens my spirit weakens my flesh. So if my spirit is strengthened through fasting and praying, then my carnal nature is weakened by the same. Therefore, every benefit that you can receive from a weakened flesh or from empowered prayer, you can receive from fasting. Now, though there are many more, here are 10 benefits of fasting. Fasting can bring clarity to the voice of God, Acts chapter 13, verse two. Fasting can help to properly establish a new ministry, Acts chapter 14, verse 23. Fasting can bring favor, Esther chapter four, verse 16. Fasting can bring healing, Psalm chapter 35, verses 13 through 14. Fasting can prepare you for the call of God. Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 through 4. That same portion of scripture tells us also that fasting can prepare you for temptation. Fasting can bring about freedom. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 6. Fasting can bring protection. Ezra chapter 8, verse 21. Fasting can increase spiritual authority. Matthew chapter 17, verses 19 through 21. And fasting can teach you dependence on God. Matthew chapter 4, verses 3 through 4. If you will respond with faith to the Word of God and implement fasting as a frequent discipline in your life, you will see spiritual growth such as you have never imagined possible. Begin to see the effectiveness of your prayers increase and the desires of the flesh weaken. Step into depths of the Spirit that you've never known. Take God at His Word. Watch what begins to happen in your life as you fast and pray. I'm David Diga Hernandez, and that is your Moment of Truth. For more free teachings like these, and to stay directly connected with our ministry, sign up to my free emailing list by going to davidhernandezministries.com slash email. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.